Let's see if we got a crappie here that we might be able to put on the stringer. Yeah. I think that one's going to keep. Barely hooked, looks like. Yeah, that's going to be a keeper, I believe. I'm up here and measuring. Yeah, that's a decent size right there. He hit that yum curly tail. Yeah, we got one here, folks. Got it. Oh my goodness, what have I got? Boy, if that is a crappie, that is a monster. Tighten that drag up a little bit. Don't let no slack in, because if that's a crappie, that's a big one. All right, my friends, welcome to the channel today. Back out here again on Greater Fort Loudon. TN Bank Fishing here. Lynn is my name. Catching crappie is my game. And we're going to see if we can catch a few right here today. Here on this day after Thanksgiving. And there is somebody in my spot right here. Little bird, you're going to have to go. That is my spot. You and me are not going to cohabitate here together. If you want to hang out here with me, you can do so. But this is my spot there, little birdie, and don't you forget that. Anywho, he don't he ain't paying no attention to me. He's gonna fish if he wants to fish. Oh great blue herons. There he goes. I done interrupted his fishing session. I'm sorry, Mr. Great Blue Heron. Folks, good people of YouTube land. We are going to start off today fishing with this little white curly tail. It's kind of got like a pinkish colored head on it. It's what I left off with yesterday. Running low on my little yum curly tails. Boy, they got some good action on them yum curly tails. And them crappie really like them. I tried some other curly tails uh, yesterday. And I didn't seem to have quite as much luck on them as what uh, I thought I would. And I got to kind of looking at them little yum white curly tails and little two inches they just got a nice little action on them at a slow speed you know you slow them down to almost a crawl and they still got some action on them and that seems to trigger the bite so water's uh, about the same as it was yesterday might have even come up just a little bit today still got another foot or so before we get down to basically winter pool but this is good though just maybe a very light stain on the water pretty clear though should have a crappie or two on it so we're just going to test the waters here real quick like and see what we got out there today we've got a pretty stiff breeze coming out of the east kind of north northeast i guess just a steady, steady breeze here. High clouds. It's really a good day for crappie. We should be able to get a few today. I'm fairly sure we will. I like these high clouds like this. Water conditions are fairly stable. We're gonna be fishing about eight feet or so under this float. I lost my little water weighted floats. I had two of those little floats that my dad had given to me. He used those things down in Florida. I don't know if you can get them around here. I need to go online and try to order some of them, I guess. But I'm back to using this little wonky wooden float that I made. It's not ideal, but it's all I got right now in the way of a weighted float. So we're gonna keep using it here today. If you see it there, it's just a wooden float that I made. It's wonky. You'll see it in the video here. I don't know if you can see this little white curly tail. It's a little yum, little pink head, but you can see with a fairly slow retrieve, that little tail has got some sweet action on it. And them crappie, pretty reactive to that slow. You see it there, just that slow a lot of curly tails won't give you that action when you get that slow, but the yum is really good at that. And I think it makes a difference. Right now, the last few days, the crappie seem to have preferred the 
really slow retrieve the slower I can get it the better there we go we got him that oh we got him that time he's peeling a little drag right there just a bit got that drag set a little loose doing a little head shake on us here let's see if we got a crappie here that we might be able to put on a stringer yeah I think that one's gonna keep barely hooked looks like yeah that's gonna be a keeper I believe I'm up here and measuring yeah that's a decent size right there probably gonna barely be a keeper we'll be able to get him on the stringer I believe but uh, he hit that young curly tail little young curly tail with pink head on it did the trick for him right there today see if we can measure him up and get him on the stringer double check make sure we got a good solid 10 inches here and we do 10 and a half so there you go Good solid ten and a half incher. All right, boy. Got it right across that little piece of cover, and we got another one. That might be a keeper. Probably going to be pretty close. I don't think we got as a monster here, but we got as a decent little crappie, I believe. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, he's going to be close. I think he might measure up. Be close. He may be just shy of uh, 10 inches. Barely hooked. Got him hooked right there in the skin. Another, another reason to go easy with him. See, if you let any slack, once you hook a crappie, you cannot let any slack in them. If you let the slack in them, They'll, you'll lose them. You got to keep that line tight. Don't let any slack in them when you're reeling them in. For you newbies, of course, all you experienced guys, you know that. But if you're new to crappie fishing, because they're usually so lightly hooked, just the least little bit of slack and they'll come loose on you. Let's measure him up right here. I'm thinking he's a little short, probably about just under 10 or just at 10. So what I normally do is if they're just right on the 10 mark, I'll go ahead and turn them loose. See, he's short. Take and measure, close the mouth. You always want to close the mouth. And you come down and see he's about, he's about a quarter of an inch short, just under a quarter of an inch short right there. So he goes back. There you go, little buddy. Dirt in your mouth right there. Go on back. There he goes. We're still just a little ways from moonrise here today, so they might, and that moon should be peeking up over the horizon, and that could help the fishing. Yesterday seemed to be pretty good about this time when that moon was coming up just before it came up. Now, once it got up there pretty good, it seemed like the bite tapered off. Yeah, we got one here, folks. Camera wasn't recording, though. I'll tell you what. Having problems with this camera today. I hate that. Miss the action. But anyways, this is number two on this curly tail. So we're going to get him on the stringer. Let's see just for the heck of it about how he might measure up here. Look how easy that came out of there. Oh yeah, he's gonna be a good. He's pushing 12 inches right there. Live good, 11 and three quarters. Really nice size crappie right here. Try to get him in that light a little bit. Let's get him on the stringer. Tell you what though, they're out there, but it's really slow today. We got our friend, the great blue heron, out here today, and I have not seen. 
I haven't seen him catch anything today. I've caught two there, Mr. Great Blue Heron, and you ain't got none yet. You're going to have to catch up a little bit. Fresh crappie on the stringer. There we go. Got him. Oh my goodness, what have I got? Boy, if that is a crappie, that is a monster. Tighten that drag up a little bit. Don't let no slack in, because if that's a crappie, that's a big one. Kind of got my reservations about whether or not that's a crappie or not. I'm gonna find out here in a sec. Probably gonna be a skipjack. Yeah, that's a heavy fish. If that's a crappie, that ain't gonna be no crappie. Make sure we're recording here and get ready for him because if it's a bigger fish and he comes up here, tries to run, I don't know, that might be it. Yeah, that ain't no crappie, I don't think. Probably gonna be a white bass, although it's just kind of sluggish like a crappie. He ain't really showed himself yet here. It's easy with him though, because if it's a crappie, he's probably barely hung right there. Been hooking them right in the top of the mouth. He's just running a little bit hard for a crappie though. I'm thinking white bass here. He ain't coming up either, so it's gonna be a white bass, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, big old white bass. Big old white bass, almost a hybrid looking white bass a little bit with them broken lines. That's a big one. Yeah, I knew that wasn't no crappie. The crappie will come up there after a second or two, but the white bass usually don't come up and hit the top of the water. But the crappie will make their way up and slosh around on top of that water. And uh, that's how I knew this wasn't going to be no uh, crappie. Heavy little sucker. I'm going to put him on a stringer down here. Two crappie and a white bass. Got one, got one. Can't tell how big he is, I don't know. Might be a keeper. Are we recording? Yeah, we're recording. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one, I believe. Go easy with him. Yeah, that's going to be a keeper, I think. Yeah, that's a good one. Go easy with him. Go easy with him. just barely hooked right there tell you what all kinds of problems here wound up breaking my line right there this four pound test line is uh got a little age to it it's a little fragile right there let's see what size we got right here mr crappie you gonna measure up right here yeah he's he's about ten and a quarter Double checking to make sure. And he is well over 10 inches right there. I'm going to go ahead and put him on the stringer. We're getting a few build up here on the stringer, folks. We got a white bass, a couple of big crappie. Got this one, it's barely big enough. He's 10 and a quarter, so he's good. Measured him twice, so we ain't got to worry about the ranger coming along and giving us any grief. We're good to go here. We got one. See if there's any size to him here. Looks like it feels like a good fish, really. Make sure we're recording here. Yeah, that's going to be a decent one. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one right there, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That is a good one. Oh, damn. 
Well, I'm gonna have to sharpen my hooks up here, dang it. That was a nice one. This one got hung up and I can tell this hook is not as sharp as it needs to be. Oh well, we lost a good one right there. Well, well we got a big lull in the action right here. The old moon has come back up over the horizon. And it seems like that bite has really just slowed down to nothing here. Last bite I had about eh, 10 or 15 minutes ago, I had a nice one on and lost him right at the bank. And it's just really slow out here right now. I think there's a few of them out there still, but just getting this little bait right in front of them and getting them to hit. Sun's going down and it's really getting chilly out here. Probably about 52 degrees, 55 degrees. Wind chill is probably more like in the low 40s, upper 30s, I'd say. It's definitely chilly out here, right there with something. Good Lord, what is it? What have I got right there? What have I got? Oh my God, hey, I've snagged something here. This ain't good. Let me see if I can get him in here real quick right before he gets a chance to do, figure out he's hooked. That's a big old carp. I've snagged a big carp, people. Hopefully he'll pop loose here because I don't really want him to break my line. I can't do nothing with him here. Big old carp. And I snagged him, so it's going to be virtually impossible to get him in here, I believe. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him in or not. I hate that. I don't want to lose my flow. Look at him go. Big old carp. Four pound test leader. I might be here for an hour trying to find this big thing. Might be here an hour. Big old carp, I'm pretty sure. If he's snagged, it's just going to make it hard to get him. He's wanting to run down bank and just run down bank a little bit. Getting this sun anyway. jig back here. He's acting like he's going to give up here pretty quickly. If I can get him going this direction before he gets ready to take another run, I might be able to, to do something with him here. Big old buffalo, I guess is what that is. Use all my battery juice up here. If I can get him coming in towards this bank and just keep him coming in this shallow water, here he comes. And keep him coming, keep him coming, keep him coming. He's turning around. He turns around. There he goes. Pop loose. Good. Tell you what, man. Big old carp like that. Usually when you snag one, they don't stay on very long. Boy, he was hooked pretty good there. I'm glad he came loose, though. I didn't lose my, my little jig here. Huh. Didn't even mess it up or anything. Yeah, we got him that time. I had a feeling there's a little spot out there where they're stacking up. I kept getting a bite. Caught one off of that little spot and lost him. This old hook on this jig got to be pretty dull after hooking into that carp, and I got hung up a time or two. Let's see, uh, this one's not going to measure up. I'm not even going to try to measure him, although he's probably fairly close. Probably just under 10 inches, I'd say. Still working this white curly tail. This time of year, this white is really. Uh, is really a good color. I just happen to have a pink head on there. That seems to work out pretty good. But uh, 
getting a little nippy out here folks that wind is really just uh howling out here pretty good now but uh we're still catching a few we got a little lot left so let's see if we can't get another one let this little booger go see you little booger grow up that drag's a little bit loose don't let him get loose there i don't know what we got but it's big i don't think it's going to be a crappie it's probably going to be another white bass i don't know though it's coming up like it could be a crappie i'm gonna go easy with him here we've lost a bunch of them here if i could get one more on that stringer that would be not oh yeah that's gonna be a good crappie let's go easy with him right here i think that's a crappie if it is it is a good one yeah oh god oh lord i hope that's a crappie no that's a stripe that's a stripe I thought, oh man, if that's a crappie, we don't got that as a hog. Can't wait. Oh, that weight right there, that's definitely heavier than a crappie. You feel that dead weight, and you think you got your monster crappie. Well, let's put him on the stringer. Go ahead and cut his gills right here. Yeah, they bleed out really quickly. If you don't cut the gills on them, they will live a long time crappie will crappie you take a crappie home put him in the sink and think well i'll come back in a little bit and clean him two hours later he'll still be flopping around in the sink you'll hear something crash in that sink you'll think what was that something just crashed into the house and there'll be that crappie in there after two or three hours flopping around in that sink so yeah, if you want to clip the gills, just take you a pair of scissors. You got fresh fish. All right. All right, here we go. There you go, folks. There's dinner. White bass, crappie. Don't get no better than this. Let's get out of here and get home and get something to eat. <laughs>